In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook a whole sea bream. This is Portuguese cuisine. That's right, today we're going to be doing a whole sea bream. I love fish, and if you love fish, you should be making this dish. It's so simple. All I'm going to do is have a whole sea bream, collard greens, some chorizo, and some onion, and that is it. No carbs with this, so technically, it's a great keto recipe. And if you guys know me by now, all the ingredients are listed in the description below. Woo! So here we have a whole sea bream. Let's start preparing. Cool, so the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna cut some incisions. But firstly, make sure when you buy a whole sea brain from your fishmongers, ask them to gut the fish and descale it as well. You do not wanna be messing around. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by cutting some incisions diagonally across the fish. This is gonna help cook the fish evenly, okay, guys? Guys, if you haven't got one of these garlic crushers, invest in one, they're so bloody handy. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub this in and make sure it goes into all the incisions. Two cloves of garlic should be enough for the whole fish. Any remaining garlic we're gonna put into the middle here. Now we're gonna season really well with coarse salt. You wanna season that all over. Now I've got some fresh, I know what that looks like, but it's not, it's fresh oregano or oregano as the Americans call it. And we're just gonna get that all over this. Smells amazing already. Not the fish, just the oregano. Now I'm gonna zest some lime onto it as well. Now we're gonna cut some lemon. I think I said lime, but I actually meant lemon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get some lemon wheels in here. Now I've got myself a tray. I'm just going to plunk the fish onto here. I'm just going to drizzle, drizzle a touch of olive oil and turn this round. So I've just put the fish in the oven. That's going to cook at 180 degrees Celsius. That's 365 degrees Fahrenheit if you're in the States or anywhere else in the world that uses that metric. Um, and essentially, I'm just gonna cook it into the beautiful. Meanwhile, we're gonna prepare something else. Let's do it. So whilst the fish is cooking, I'm gonna do a beautiful dish, which is keto friendly. Essentially, it's gonna be collard greens with chorizo, sauteed with onions, it's beautiful. And I've got a little hack for you. If you buy collard greens, all you have to do is do this, hold onto the stem, push, that removes that, and you're left with the whole leaf. Yeah. So we're just gonna layer these on top of one another. I've just washed them quickly. Then we're gonna roll them like a cigar. Then we're gonna cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut on one side so it's nice and flat. Then we're just gonna cut like this. Beautiful chorizo. Chorizo. Look 
I would just simply cut into little squares. Now I'm going to start cooking. To a pan at medium high heat, I'm going to add some olive oil, like every good story. I'm going to start off with the onions straight in there. We're going to go in straight with some seasoning. And pepper. I'm going to gently cook these to release all that acidity and that harshness so we're left with that beautiful, sweet, delicious flavour. And if you don't like onions, learn to like them, they're amazing. We're gonna go in with chorizo, all of it. This is gonna transform the colour and the flavour dramatically. We're gonna go in with the collard greens. And this is how simple it is, but this is a beautiful dish to have with the side of beautiful sea bream. I'm gonna go in with some white wine vinegar. Just a touch. Turn the heat off and I'm just going to leave that to cook in its own heat. I think the fish is ready. Let's have a look. It smells so good. This is so healthy for you as well. Go for a little bite. This is a beautiful side. Mm. That is beautiful. If you love fish, It's amazing. I hate using this word, but the word is moist. It's just so delicious. The garlic hasn't overpowered it or anything. I know it looks like it's a lot, but it just really works so well. Then you get that freshness and that herb herbaceous sort of flavours from the oregano. And then it just, you know, just a little bit of lemon right at the end and it just really cuts through. It's absolutely beautiful. Make sure you give this dish a try. It's like, seriously, it's still boiling hot. It literally melts in your mouth how delicious this is. I think it tastes amazing. Make sure you give this a try. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching Cooking Like Ramos. Until next time, peace!